Highway. You know, my way in a high, you know, you know, he's the one that created it. We, he also created, you know, they, they bring a knife to the, they bring a knife, we bring a, we, you know, we bring a butcher knife. They bring a Derringer, we bring a 45. They bring a 45, we bring a, you know, an AK-47. They bring an AK-47, we bring a, a Browning Automatic. They bring a Browning Automatic, we bring a 50 caliber. They bring a 50 caliber, we bring a cannon. Mm -hmm. That is Chicago politics. Mm -hmm. It's thug politics, and people are getting the idea. He's not a nice He's person. To understand. Oh, Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly basically has finally figured out that Obama doesn't care if the country defaults because he figures that he will win the presidency on a default. Mm -hmm. So, and the country can't default. Everybody. Anyway, um, are, aren't some interest payments still being made? The interest payment. Okay, we may consider. What happens is. You know who doesn't get paid? <gasps> who? The, 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 uh, all those union workers that the president's been hiring. Those union people don't get paid. This is what it's all about. Default has nothing to do with your social security checks. Default has nothing to do with paying our bills. It means the unions don't get their money. Uh -oh. If the unions don't get their money, they're going to be pissed at Obama and the Democrats and they're not going to campaign for him. Uh -oh. It's all about keeping the union base happy. I mean, he would throw your grandmother over a bridge. But isn't that important? That. Yeah, the unions are more important than granny. But um, but compromise, I mean, it, it, you, you have to have, compromise has to be both sides giving something. When only one side is doing the giving, that's not compromise, that's called marriage. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. Don't you love how you that song? That was married. He showed compromise. Here's another example of compromise. Compromise is the left side of your brain finally understanding what the right side of your brain always knew that if you were doing things with Elizabeth Taylor when Elizabeth Taylor was like this, and she whiz, that was 1942. Uh -huh. That was not 1948. Mm -hmm. So eventually, this side compromise somewhere in the middle and, and then you check the you get a you finally get a birth certificate actually uh, you know the problem is I couldn't get a birth certificate because I'm the oldest member of my family but they did find a certificate of birth for me which unfortunately <laughs> I'm, old, I'm older than what I thought I was <laughs> I didn't get I didn't pay attention when I was a little fella okay I graduated from high school when I was 12 years old. That should have been a tip-off. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know I was smart, but 12 years old? Well, because I wasn't 12 years old. I was like 16 years old. I still graduated early, but I, I'm a Hollywood kid. A well, you know, it's not like you go to the regular grades. I did, I, I did once I got into high school when I was, I mean, I used to go to things. I never paid, okay. When there are a whole bunch of people in a room studying, nobody has any real idea what grade they're in. All I did was I started out in, um, I think, was it the, the 11th, 10th grade? Mm -hmm. 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, yeah, whatever it was. I started out in the 10th grade. That's when I actually went into real school. Mm -hmm. So I, I never paid any attention. All I knew that I tended to be a lot bigger than a lot of the other kids, but that was good because they needed somebody that was, they didn't have to be sitting around all the time like the younger ones, but I didn't, didn't pay any attention. It's revolting that instead of 62 years, I've been in this damn business for 67 years. <laughs> now, actually, it would have been longer than that. I don't you know. Because... I'm, I'm, I'm six you years were in okay. it since you were 68 a baby. Years. 68, I would have been, yeah. I, I, since you was an infant I, being okay. thrown around. We'll since it, you were an infant being thrown around by John Wayne. We'll put it this way. I was a baby when I started, so when I say, when I was saying 62, I was being facetious because I didn't want people. You know. oh. So now you blew it. I, I go back even further than that now. I go back to when I was a baby, and everybody knows how old I am. Yes. You know. Then, See, it's not just women that try and be younger. Okay, I, w I, I was in seven ride for seven brothers in 1952 as one of the guy, one of the extras dancing. 
that was 60 years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> very old. I, I was in college. Oh, God, I was in college. And I, I started college before, long before. Let's put it this way. I started college, but her mother was a, a, a this tall. So, <laughs> yeah. So. No, but that's, that's, like I said, it's compromise. My head is finally compromised that I am actually older than what I, I always knew I had to be. I'm a film historian. I'm a film buff. I, 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 every, I, I, I got 1,200 appearances and things in my life. But I didn't want to hang on to the fact that I was older than what I thought I was. But just go back to the first film you were in. Yeah, well, I did, finally. That's and what, what year I, was, not year it was released, year it was filmed. Well, I keep telling everybody it was John Wayne and the Oklahoma Land Rush, but I should have known if I had bothered. I never bother with those. Okay. Details. Yeah, the minor details. Details. That's, that's the act of compromise. It has taken me, I don't know, nearly 70 years to compromise, or to get the compromise. See, that's how stubborn it is. My, one side is obviously Democrat, the other side is Republican, which makes sense because my family is evenly split. And neither side wanted to get together in the middle until I finally... I never had a birth certificate until I had to get a thing to go... I had to get a passport. And that passport is horrible. I mean, it's... it's so, but, um, they said, well, how does a person your age have blonde hair? Because I do. So it's also, she knows it's turning redder again because of summer. But, I mean, well, she's from a business, she's from a business climate. She knows what compromise is like there, too. There is none. Yeah, there's like certain, I remember it was in certain things, it's like certain um, nationalities you don't deal with. Or their idea of negotiations are different than your idea of negotiations. Mm, that's right. My, uh... I, I remember when I went to school in Europe, they were talking about how they negotiated. And it's like... The first, what, several times that they met, they don't talk about business at all. It's only getting to know the people. Yeah. It's, that, that's it. And then they talk about the business. It's why, in my industry, it really was. You never did business over lunch, but they would say, let's, do, let's go to lunch and do business. No, you're sizing the other side up. Mm -hmm. You don't talk business. But uh, my mother, everybody knows, my mother, my mother was in a restaurant business for God awful long. She had found two chains. I'm actually... And a motion picture chain, so but uh, uh, she she would uh, my mother would compromise with her employers employees when they would go on a strike for mm -hmm. higher wages. She fired them all and replaced them. Mm -hmm. Just fired them all. That was my mother's idea. Compromise. You know, you're going to join the union. My, okay, I was a member of the union. My father was a member of the union. My mother's idea of unions in a, in the restaurant business is where they basically restaurants have a very uh, small they have thin margin. They're thin margin. And when you have to give people, when you have to give raises to people, you know, uh, basically say uh, the prevailing, <laughs> really like the prevailing raise is a buck and a half an hour, mm -hmm. and you have to get four dollars an hour, you know, uh, of what they want. Uh, my mother would fire them all mm -hmm. because it wasn't like you. Uh, there, my mother would say, would somebody give you the excuse? Well, you know how tough it is to find people. She said, I'm in a restaurant business. I find people every day. Mm -hmm. So if you couldn't find somebody to work, you know, when I was young, you were... Do, do, do people are coming back after World War II. There's They're, lots of people looking for work. Lots of people All you have to do work. is put up a sign. Yeah. Help wanted. I know. Uh, you know, so... Um, and then... Uh, but you could basically pick and choose from the veterans that were skilled. What happened was... Um, here's, here's, the, here's the union's idea of compromise. You hire those damn blacks. We're going to strike. Really? Oh, the union were very anti-black when they, you know, they're the ones that helped push the segregation laws through. Oh. They didn't want union because we all know those people are going to work for less than we're going to charge. You know, and they, and they you know, I always liked this. You know, they, they, they speak more, they speak worse language than the, uh, a lot of the black people were very well educated when I was young. <laughs> Very well educated, but you hear the union guy, you got to understand that this, uh, this is the way we're going to do things down here. That wasn't a black man, that was a white guy speaking like that. When they were doing Amos and Andy, hey Amos, hey Andy, that was a white, those were white guys playing black men. When you had, you know, had, um, you know, um, Al Joseph, which I actually got to meet, 
Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. That's a white man playing a black man. Black men didn't do that. Black men didn't do that. They didn't do that. White guys did. They played great music. I mean, Louis Armstrong, tremendously intelligent. Duke Ellington, tremendously intelligent. Lena Armstrong, beautiful, intelligent. Uh, I go down, Sidney Portier, mm -hmm. great, handsome, great voice, intelligent. Look at the education behind most of the black actors in this world. Compromise, when you talk about it, we're going on and on about the fact America did not compromise. Well, one of the ways to compromise is to let the other person think they're getting what they want. It's called marriage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's marriage. See, I, I was married a long, long, I was a long, long time ago. I've been single for a very long time. See, if that's what marriage is, now that's a whole nother debate. Yeah, no, but the, right? Yeah, but uh, this is the idea that, of the Democrats. <laughs>